Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and what I got today is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive Creature Crate by Loot Crate, and I'm number 3277 of 10,000. So I was excited whenever I got the email from Loot Crate about this uh, um, Creature Crate that's an exclusive uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive, and I've stayed completely away from. Uh, anything to do with people unboxing this, what's been inside. Only thing I know is something about a Q-Pop or something like that uh, did come across and was mentioned and I tried to like turn away. I didn't want to, I don't want to know anything that's in here because I want it to be a complete surprise and I don't want to pretend a surprise or something because I think it's important because it was so freaking expensive expensive for this for loot crate should be good because sometimes you get good stuff sometimes you don't uh, but the price has always been fairly cheap for loot crates anyway so having an expensive exclusive comic-con will come across I thought it's got to be decent right yeah all right so totally blind going in I feel a box I feel a shirt Feel something small and something in a sack. Let's pull out the sack. Uh, Wayland Corporation Building Better Worlds. Oh, this is like uh, from Aliens. So that is a luggage tag and it's a Loot Crate exclusive, it says on the back, which is pretty cool there. It's not bad at all. It says Loot Crate exclusive right there on the back. And it's just a, a good thick. Uh, solid rubber. It's not like one of those cheapos. And I'm going to use this, so I'm going to take it out. Well, it is extremely flexible, like so. Got a little uh, plastic cover for your uh, information to go in that for your luggage. And this is actually very nice, very well made for a change. Something from uh, Loot Crate that feels indestructible, so that's a plus because all my tags seem to vanish off my luggage from traveling so much. They get ripped off or something. So that's probably the most durable uh, luggage tag I've ever had. So what else we got in a plastic bag? Jurassic World Raptor Claw. It's got some heft to it. So let's bust open this guy here. That's like life size. That's like a bronzy look or something to it there. Doesn't look bad at all. It says Jurassic World there. And on the back, Loot Crate exclusive. So this is uh, completely exclusive to Loot Crate. So this is the second item that's been exclusive to Loot Crate. I don't, this thing weighs so much. I mean, I guess I could put a key on it, but I mean, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty hefty because, you know, they say uh, not to. Do that for your keys and your vehicle and your ignition there, not to weight it down too much, if you didn't know. All right, so next, I'm gonna skip the shirt, skip the bigger box and go for the smaller one. Let's see what's inside there. Yeah. Cool, it's a uh, Titans vinyl figure. So let's see, 16 to collect is what it says on the back. Bust up into this to see what we got. And first off, this is the box. Let's get some stuff there. Around there, it says 16 to collect. And more on what you can get on the side. So you got these that you can have, and that that you can have. And there's the front. Right there. So there it is. It's the uh, Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. And every piece, it looks like it's individual. Um, you can move and stuff the hands. You can move those, move the neck. And that's about it. But uh, it looks okay. Too bad. Next up, I'll do the shirt and save the big one for last. So. Bam, there it is. Let's see what she is. Godzilla. The world is doing in here. It kind of 
threw me for a loop here. We got like everything's been separate, sorta. Of. But uh, there you can see the uh, looks like one from the film because it has you know the Godzilla emblem here with some Chinese writing or whatever on the side above it. Looks just like it's a uh, shirt from the Godzilla movie that you would get like at the premiere or something. That's what it looks like to me. And, ah, the pen, I think. Cool. Let's see what the pen looks like. It's a decent made pen. It says uh, San Diego Comic Con 2015 Loot Crate right up above it there. Not too bad. All right, so I guess this is the last thing in the box. Well, now there's something underneath. Um, cool, we get a little San Diego Comic-Con exclusive creature crate pamphlet, which I'll look at in just a second. You get a certificate of authenticity. Every item in the creature crate is 100% exclusive and only available at Loot Crate San Diego Comic-Con booth. You got yourself one of just 10,000 ever made we love you, Team Loot Crate. And it's got the co-founders on it and their signatures uh, right there. If you want to see that. I'll look at the pamphlet last because you may have something in there about whatever this is in the big box. Oh, there's something else under there. Oh, well, I got to filter out a little bit more. I might have missed that. So what it says. Loot Crate exclusive set of three oversized creature cards. Swamp Thing, uh, Clayface, and Man Bat from DC Comics. There's nothing on the cards that say Loot Crate. Well, I guess the LC Loot Crate 1, 2, and 3, I'm assuming. Well, anyway, see the cards. So there's the Swamp Thing card, the Man Bat. And the swamp thing. Or no, Clayface, excuse me. I already said swamp thing. Alright, so see on the back top corner there, LC01 2. I was wondering if that's, you can see them there, Loot Crate um, 01, 1, 2, 3, whatever, I'm assuming, maybe. I don't know. But it goes into the description of each one. So I don't really collect these things or have a use for the cards I guess get a little worried maybe what if what's in the box sets this thing off then we'll be good to go for the price and well that's it's a Spangler Spangler is this the Q pop or whatever it's called yeah I'm assuming quantum Mechanics Incorporated, so that would be like Q-Pop, right? Yeah, it says Q-Pop right, right here on the side. And it's display box seems pretty cool. But yeah, you can see it. See him, see him inside there in the Q-Pop box. See him in the back there. On the sides. That's actually not so bad. So you can write your own message on the Q-Pop, apparently. Well, the glasses, I mean, the detail is pretty crazy on this which we'll look at here in a second because like the glasses can come straight off uh, they're not fixed on at all which adds to that kind of I mean they've got clear plastic lenses on it so you can see his eyes through it uh, it's got wires coming off the back for the proton pack everything seems really well made there's no kind of paint bleeding over everything's like an individual layered piece out on it so it's nice so the stand for it it has 2014 quantum mechanics incorporated on it i still don't see anything that says loot crate exclusive on the box itself so i'm wondering if you can buy these and they're not like an exclusive but it said everything was an exclusive in there so that's a little bit bewildering on me there but uh, it says across here 2014 Egon Spangler 
uh, across there for Q-Pop. And then the stand has the little emblem there on it. So, yeah, he stands there. Then you get your Q-Pop pin, which actually has a little dry erase uh, built into the cap uh, of it. And it says Q-Pop on it. Okay, so the, the little... Uh, Alright, so... The thing that stands up that you can ride on actually broke off, or was broke in the in the packaging. It was sitting there. You can see it goes there. I'm hoping this piece comes out so I can stick this back in. It'll end up being a little shorter, but uh, it'll still go into the stand anyway. Well, let's look at Spangler up close here. And it, I mean, it does look pretty good for its size. I mean, it's very detailed and small. You can see all the wires coming off the proton back pack in the back there. Um, everything looks, and I knocked his glasses off. Which you could probably lose these. So like 30 years from now, whenever uh, there's a uh, somebody going through someone's barn, and they find one of these with the glasses, and they freak out because it's still with the figure. You'll see that's why, because it pops right off. So there he is mounted to his stand. So since it broke off, if you could just imagine this there, you can write whatever you want. Uh, I'd probably rather display it without this little bubble above him, I guess. Uh, if you ask me, it looks better uh, just as is like that. So I'll probably just not put that on. But I think that's it in the box. It's just those things. So... Let's do a mental recap as I gradually get madder and madder and madder about what all is in here. But before we jump to conclusions, let's look in this booklet and maybe it says something about like something else you're getting, <laughs> I guess. Okay, one, you get the Godzilla t-shirt. No creature themed crate will be complete without the king of monsters. A stylish tee will have you looking like fashion royalty as soon as you slip it on. So they're trying to lift that up. First off, it says total value is 100 bucks. If there's if there's $100 worth of value here, I would uh, eat something really disgusting that comes out of someone's body and goes down the toilet because there's no way on planet Earth that this is a $100 value in this box. Whalen luggage tag. Uh, tag your bags and get ready for liftoff. All right, and then you get the Ghostbusters Q Pop, one of four. Uh, you won't be afraid of no ghost with a Ghostbuster at your side. Each crate contains one of the four characters. Uh, will you get the geeky Egon, sarcastic Vakeman, ever enthusiastic Ray, or the lovable grounded Winston? So, Ghostbusters Marshmallow Man, uh, Titan uh, has. Ancient Sumerian deities go, Gozer is blah, 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 and explains the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, which we know from Ghostbusters. Then you get DC Comics collectible creature cards, celebrating DC's most memorable monsters. And then you get the 2015 San Diego Comic-Con Loot Crate Souvenir pin. I'm going to, like, pretend to add this up, sort of, just because I'm curious how bad that I, I've got ripped off. <laughs> it was what I feel like. But right now, as I stand right now, I will never purchase another uh, Loot Crate box, period, because my anger is steadily just growing and festering up inside myself right now. And I figure the more I look into the prices of these things, the just matter I'm going to get. But I'm going to do it anyway because I just feel like being angry today, I guess. I don't know why. So they put, first off, they put the... Certificate of Authenticity in here. Now, this makes you... I think this makes them try to justify taking, what is it, 55 bucks from somebody and, and slapping, you know, stuff on it. You can't get anywhere else kind of thing. When this was made and, and uh, I guess, are copyrighted for... They had the copyright for Ghostbusters, maybe, or this was made in 2014, it says on the bottom. Uh, nothing with Loot Crate on the Q-Pop whatsoever that I could find. Uh, and it says 100% exclusive. So they slap this 
certificate of authenticity inside this to justify the crap that they're about to unleash for you. And this doesn't say anything uh, Loot Crate exclusive for this shirt that's BioWorld um, at all. So I would think nothing on the sleeves or the bottom that says Loot Crate exclusive. They couldn't even give you an exclusive creature t-shirt as 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 awesome t-shirts that they've provided in the past i mean i've got some of my favorite shirts out of loot crate boxes as cheap as loot crate is I've got the green uh, ranger shirt and the optimus prime shirt that i love from loot crate they couldn't supply anything better than this something that is a kind of cheesy-ish godzilla shirt um uh, and then we get the pin, which, whatever. This, this was decent, but, I mean, eh, no one would probably buy this anyway, but this would be like at a theme park or something for like eight bucks, probably, or something for a keychain, I, I would guess. So then we get the Stay Puffed. Uh, where's the box for that? Does it say anything Loot Crate exclusive? Titan Vinyl, 2015. No Loot Crate exclusive, and he's on the side of the box. So, oh wait, it does say across the top, Loot Crate exclusive. So this one is apparently a Loot Crate exclusive, but what's the price on these? Okay, so a Titan vinyl can sell, apparently it ranges from like 10 to 15 bucks for one of these little guys. Uh, the Comic-Con exclusives right now are expensive. Uh, people are trying to rip people off for those. Some of them's 30 bucks for these, but I guess they got them out of the loot crates, turning around, trying to make some profit. But after the dust settles, what will they really be worth? My opinion, probably 10 bucks, 15 bucks, if you ask me. So that's, uh, what are we at now? 30, 33 bucks. That's street value, by the way. Street value, 33 bucks. The cards, I don't even know. I wouldn't pay anything for them. I wouldn't. Five bucks. So it's 38 bucks. <clears throat> the Q-Pop. It's probably the most valuable thing that the glasses keep falling off of, which means you will lose them if you don't, like, glue them on somehow, and then you ruin the figure probably, or figure that out somehow. I don't know how. Because just sitting there, it fell off. Anyway, let's look the... Q pop up 15 to 20 bucks right now for the Q pop. So I don't even remember what I was at, like 35 bucks, we'll say. So that's puts it up to 55 bucks street value. And then that's what you end up paying. But then they gave less, but then they say $100 value in here. They're not $100 worth of stuff in the box. In the box, I mean, how, how, where did they come up with $100 value from? Just because they put it in there is going to make you think that you got a good deal. Uh, I'm pretty much disappointed, extremely disappointed. Like this, this right here is is okay. Like the the Egon right here, he's he's all right. But out of all of it, that's the the only thing. And maybe this this little vinyl pop here, I like it. But these two are the only things I care about in that whole box, and it is not anywhere near the worth that they say it is it's worth like how you can buy the stuff yourself if you give it a little time it's coming off uh the comic-con now but if you give it some time on ebay you'll probably be able to find these things later for less but it's nowhere near this this is like a garbage thing they throw in there to make you think that it's something special you're getting but yeah i thought that this look crate was extremely worthless um a lot of it for the money. I'm talking about for the money. If this was a regular price, Loot Crate, uh, maybe $10 more than the regular Loot Crate, now you're starting to come into the normal, what I, what I would feel like to pay. But uh, but this, they're making this out to be like this big, big thing. Very expensive for Loot Crate and a big time failure. So it's like an epic fail, Loot Crate's part. This is my final straw with Loot Crate, I think. So I will never... I'll never purchase another Loot Crate box again. That's my personal opinion about the whole thing. Uh, you may have received it and been like, this is the best thing ever made. But for me, that, that collects stuff a lot, that's kind of heavy invested, heavily invested in collectibles, 
uh, of all sorts and, and these vinyl figures and stuff it could be a fad you know I mean right now everybody likes them uh, they're getting overly collected uh, could be a fad I mean the market's just pumped full of them everybody remembers the Beanie Baby stuff yeah these are cool because they're hitting the, the, the things that I like and I think it's really cool to some of the limited edition stuff that you get and stuff like that it's pretty nice I like those things but the ones that's mass produced probably never be worth anything but it's just aggravating I guess so I'm kind of I'm calming myself down as much as possible for this video I guess but the overall feeling is it's just junk uh, for what they make you think it's going to be uh, and it's a creature crate too like a creature crate which sounds really appealing to me it sounds really like into what I, what I like but uh, it didn't fulfill anything that I thought it would be, so it's a failure, and I probably will never, unless they just give me boxes for free. That's the only way I'll ever probably purchase another loot crate again. I say that now. They may hit me just right and offer me something later like everybody else, and I may go, yeah, I'll another try and be right back in the same boat I am right now. But for right now, done. Loot crate, you're done. Like, uh... Uh, off to other boxes that seems to take care of people a little bit better if they say they're going to give you a creature crate it's going to be a creature crate not a uh, a, a five-year-old crate like a five-year-old creature crate and that's worth you know to me half the price i mean you paid a fraction of the price for, for one okay you paid you probably paid like i'm just guessing so 15 bucks probably out of your pocket for this you turned around and jacked it up to $55 to sell probably 15 or 20 bucks turned around job 15 bucks probably is what you pay this shirt had to be just laying around you probably had to have 10,000 of those shirts in excess just lying around from the Godzilla release or something from whenever you bought some wanted to use it on another box and threw it in that one I'm assuming but uh, yeah that's it's not, I don't think it's okay to charge that, that amount for what you got right here. But this is just my opinion. I thought it was a failure. It didn't appeal to me whatsoever. But if you liked it, hey, Luke Rates your box. I'm going to stick to the stuff I like, which is Marvel Core, Collector Core, and uh, uh, Horror Block. They seem to be giving me stuff I like, for, and I feel like I'm getting my value, my money's worth for those so far. Uh, but anyway, this has been Isaiah's Reviews. I hope you liked my unboxing of the loot crate comic con crap in a box so uh we'll see you later this has been another isaiah's reviews i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe and share this to all your social sites that helps get me to places i can't get to on my own and i really do appreciate that and i can't wait to see you again here on isaiah's reviews